Hey guys, it's uh, Life here from iTech. Today I'm going to show you something you might not know this, but you can uh, set up uh, Konica Minolta user boxes to be used as uh, shared folders on the network. So I'm just going to give you a quick uh, rundown on how this concept would work. So I'm now at the web page of uh, one of the Konica devices. And if I go into the box here and the box list, you can see that I've got uh, I've got a number of user boxes on here. And to set them up so that you can uh, use them as a SMB folder or a shared folder on the network, uh, I'm going to quickly show you how you set that up. So first thing, you got to go into the admin. So I'll go to the login screen, log in as administrator, and hit login, type in the password, numbers 1328, twice. Okay, and I'm going to show you this machine has already been configured correctly. So we're going to go into network. We're going to go into SMB setting and SMB server setting. So, as this one has already been set up, you basically by default SMB server settings are disabled, it's not turned on. So, we set the SMB server setting to on. You can make up your SMB host name, you can type that in or just leave it as the default. But you can, when you refer to the host for the shared uh, folder, you can use this one or you can use the IP address. And you have also turned on this uh, the SMB print and SMB file, share SMB file setting. So turn all of that on, hit OK, and uh, it may prompt you to restart the machine if that's the case. Just um, do that, restart the Konica Malta device. Uh, now, when this is all configured, we're going to uh, log out of there. And I'm going to go back into the public. You can do this through admin or, or through the public interface. But what the next second step is to create a user box or a folder. So I'm going to go into the box. Setting. We're going to go into the user box list, and I'm just going to show you. I've already set up some, but if I'm going to set up a new folder, I would click New Registration, and you just create a new user box the standard way. If I call one test 99, just as a as a test. Uh, I've also decided if I want the documents to be deleted or not, I normally select do not delete, which means uh, the documents that are stored in there will stay there forever until they're physically deleted. And then the uh, uh, last thing that is really important for this to work as a shared folder is when it says user box expansion function, click on there, and you want to turn this on where it says auto save document to MFP shared folder. Depending on the model of your machine, this menu, this option might look slightly different in the web uh, layout, but it'll have something similar on all the, all the different Konica auto models. So make sure you have this turned on, auto save document to MFP shared folder. And we're then going to hit OK. So now we have created the user box or the folder, if you like to call it that. And now we would uh, just scan documents into these uh, user boxes, like we are uh, on the MFD. And then I'm going to show you how to access this, So, which is very simple. If you see that, the IP address of this one is 10.0.0.33. So I'm just going to go into my web browser, and I'm going to type in 10, 0, 0, 33. And I'm going to show you this for the uh, first time. You First time you try to access this, you might think that it's not set up correctly and it might not work depending on your Windows settings and the Windows, the version of Windows you currently use. So 
absolutely fine, but I'm just going to put that IP address in there with the two backslashes and hit enter. And I'm going to show you this error that comes up. It'll say, uh, Windows cannot access this uh, network path, which is, I'm going to show you how to fix that. So we're going to go to uh, start and we're going to go GP edit to bring up the group policy edit box. We're going to go into administrative templates. We're going to go into network. We're going to go into landman workstation. And where it says enable insecure guest logons. If you double click on there, we're going to enable this and hit OK and go out of there. Uh, now I'm back to my Windows Explorer. I'm going to type that in again and hit enter. And voila, now you can see we've got full access to the, uh, and all of these uh, user boxes, if you like, are now showing up as shared folders on the network. This one here is the one I just tried before. And of course, there's not a document in there yet, but this is the uh, user box. So you can see this is how they, the user boxes show up as a shared folder. I've got, it's called test 99, but it's also got the, in the folder name, it's got the box number in front of it, and then underscore and the box name. So, and you can also refer to this by, rather than using the IP address, you can go KMC659, which is the name of the uh, device that I've got on there. And uh, see, when I go, I can also access it that way rather than the IP address. So that's it. I hope that was useful. And uh, let me know if you uh, have any questions. And uh, please like and uh, subscribe and comment uh, below. Thank you.